Thanks for checking out our video. Feel free to join our free weekly newsletter called Pop Culture Annotated and also join our Discord server to talk with us and others that share your fandom in pop culture entertainment. Links in the description. So recently, HN's very own Nick did an interview with Alien Covenant creature designer Carlos Suante, which led to a discussion about David's experiments that didn't make it into the final cut of the movie, but were in the original version of Alien Covenant called Paradise in this version, or even Paradise Lost, according to Carlos. Now unfortunately, this first version of the film called Paradise was delayed because Michael Fassbender ended up having some conflicts with his filming schedule because he was also linked to another film, but in this version, David had an alien dog named Bug among that a army of meerkats and these meerkats weren't necessarily earth meerkats they just kind of look like meerkats according to Carlos but they were basically the equivalents of the white little things that we got in Alien Covenant which is the Neomorphs. Now these meerkats beyond being super violent also had the ability to open their mouths to reveal that they had all their teeth there which were individually attached to a finger like appendage that would come out of their mouth. So they had this sort of hand of teeth inside of the mouth thing which is listed as a precursor of things to come with the aliens being the xenomorphs showing that the projecting mouth had already started happening with David's creations. And according, and this is all a quote from Carlos, I didn't know if it was what Ridley was going for, Ridley being Ridley Scott, but that's what it was sounding like that he was the devil that got a hold of paradise and he's now creating his Nephilim, his hybrids, and he even started to do experiments on some of the engineers. I still don't know where the movie was going because I don't know if a third one was going to be made, but there were other creatures in there. There were supposed to be a bunch of experimental creatures called Neomorphs, the giant engineer creature, the many failed experiments of David, and the primitive Xenomorph. Now the first version of the Xenomorph didn't show up until the end of the film, and the Neomorphs and the Xenomorph were going to have a fight. And this was supposed to be a monster fight at the end of the film as they were chasing the crew to get to the ship. So as they're running to another ship, they're being chased by the Neomorphs, and then the Xenomorph shows up and is fighting and killing all these other creatures because it hates them. It hates everything. And the idea of the Xenomorph from the Prometheus era of the film series was that it was a creation of the engineers. The original idea made to wipe out a planet of all life and then to wipe itself out because the Xeno or Neomorph has such hostility towards anything living, even itself, and that it could wipe out a planet and then wipe itself off and leave nothing there. Of course, this all seemed to have changed with the Covenant. So definitely a lot of really interesting stuff here about David's original experiments and kind of the original purpose in the original thought process for the Xenomorph. I mean, that's a very interesting biological weapon, which was always kind of the idea behind the Black Goo. Everyone thought that, yeah, the engineers had some sort of biological weapon they were using. This also kind of makes a nice loop because the Xenomorphs end up killing themselves themselves by the end of things, that'd be very interesting. However, it doesn't explain necessarily how that would eventually evolve. And there's a lot more to this, of course. We're going to kind of cover more of it in videos throughout the week. But if you want to check out the whole interview, the link's in the description. But yeah, this is really cool, I think. You know, the whole, I would I would have loved to see the Paradise version of Alien Covenant, not really the Covenant version of Alien Covenant with all this original stuff, because I definitely think that seeing more of the kind of bridge between Prometheus and the Alien films would have been nice for the fans. I think it would have been nice to really see that proper development of if David's behind the Xenomorphs as we know them today, or how do we get to that point? But also I like this because it still makes the engineers responsible for the Xenomorphs to some extent, which I think a lot of people wanted, honestly. They wanted that and they wanted to know the purpose of the Xenomorphs, which according to this interview, they are basically a biological weapon that are used to wipe out an entire planet of life and then they just kill themselves. So comment below your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about this kind of thing? this original version of the creatures that were gonna be in paradise which later became alien covenant and what do you think about the original intention for the xenomorphs comment below and we'll see you guys later